So one of the biggest things that I've noticed, like with people inside of business is that they are so focused on negativity and positivity and finding a true balancing act, like what that looks like inside of their day to day. Right. Here's why that's the worst fucking idea ever. Right. Your brain is 1000% wired to be subjective and vulnerable to negativity, right? Anything that you do new inside a business is automatically going to be predicated on the fact that it is going to have a negative implication on you, right? Like your brain is expecting negativity. So it knows to look for it. It knows to seek it out because it's looking for the first reason inside of your business to stop. It's to tell you like, yo, this shit is not going to work, right? Therefore, when people are subjected to negativity and they know that there's an exposure and vulnerability to negativity, at the end of the day, they will seek out positivity. And here's the problem with seeking out positivity, right? Especially when like there's a lot of negative stuff going on in your business. When you seek out positivity, it almost becomes an addiction. You need that positive reinforcement to tell you that you're actually doing something right inside of your business, right? But the challenge is, is that you're only doing that to wash away the power that the negativity has over you. So you find it, you kind of fall, fall into like this, this like balance, right? This imbalance of like positive, negative, positive, negative, and you don't actually know what to do with yourself. And the problem is when you don't know what to do with yourself, you're always going to lean more towards negative, right? The answer at the end of the day, right? To figuring out the true balance and like what you need to do inside of your business is to not actually give a shit about positivity or negativity. The reason you don't want to actually care about either is because when you care about either you're exposed and vulnerable to both, Right. What do you want? Do you want negativity inside of your head to reinforce the negativity that's already in there? This is why most people are always looking for validation for the things that they're doing, right? Like I've seen it a thousand times. I watch YouTube videos. I watch Instagrams. I watch TikToks. I watch Facebooks. Like how many people inside a business are looking for validation? I have even watched Chopped. Like I'm one of the, like I'm a huge Chopped fan. And like, I can't tell you how many chefs literally stand up on Chopped and are like, I'm doing this to validate myself. It's like, you're validating yourself because you're always worried that you're doing the wrong thing. You're worried you're doing the wrong thing because even though you've told yourself that this is a passion and even though you're constantly flowing positivity into your brain, you still understand that there's that little resonance of negativity in there that you're afraid of. And that's the truth of it. Like that's why you're constantly seeking validation from outside sources. So what winds up happening is that your positivity hunt turns into an addiction. You constantly need a fix of dopamine to tell you that you're doing the right thing. And unfortunately, if you don't know how to make that voice happen to yourself and you're constantly looking for it for other people, eventually people are going to stop wanting to give you that positive reinforcement because at the end of the day, nobody's going to care about your business like you're going to care about your business. And if you're constantly seeking that shit out, eventually it's going to stop. People are going to stop wanting to listen to you, stop wanting to talk to you because at the end of the day, like business is a really tough road, right? Like I spoke about this in a previous video of like what it looks like to keep confidence inside of your sales process and like having to truly believe that you're offering somebody the right thing. And that's the only way to really beat, you know, what your brain will essentially do to you. But at the end of the day, like brain power aside, like you need to ignore the noise, right? Positive, negative. It doesn't actually matter. And it doesn't mean anything like you need to keep yourself busy. Right. The only way to actually beat anything like that is to keep yourself busy inside of your day to day. Figure out what your weakness look like. Time block your time. Right. And make sure that everything you do has an ROI on the business and is consistently giving you micro wins. Because here's the thing about micro wins. They don't have to be the biggest wins on the planet. They need to be compounding wins because eventually compounding wins will take you to a place where you can find success in the things that you do and you build the confidence out. I want you to think about this like this, like going to the gym, right? Everybody goes into the gym first day being negative as fuck. Like everybody's like, I'm going to, this is the hardest thing I ever have to do. Right. And you wind up working out and you see yourself around the people that have consistently been working out longer than you have. So they're in better shape than you are. So there's that constant like pull of negativity, right? But there's that little piece of you that says, I want to go on despite, right? And that's, you're not seeking positivity. You're not seeking positive reinforcement. It's literally a one-on-one -on -one battle with yourself. And that's really what this needs to become. The only way to win inside of this is you need to win that battle with yourself, right? You need to do despite of, right? You're not seeking positivity. You're seeking routine and discipline because discipline at the end of the day doesn't actually give a shit if you're positive or negative about the thing, right? Like this is why I always say like, don't hunt down motivation, create discipline. Because once you create discipline, it's the thing you want to do when you don't want to do something, right? And once you go for a couple of days, once you go for a couple of weeks, once you get this process, process inside of your business you start building out these cadences what winds up happening is that it becomes a routine that you don't want to let yourself down with and that becomes an addiction that you actually get tagged to and it doesn't actually matter like i could have a good day in the gym i could have a bad day in the gym either way i went to the gym and i actually got my shit done right so regardless of how i felt about it i still did my thing i still got the process done i still grew i still extended myself beyond my own limitations i still figured out a way to get it done despite the fact that i didn't want to get it done and that consistently builds out growth because at the end of the day, fuck positivity, fuck negativity. If you're exposed to one and vulnerable to one, you will be vulnerable to both. 
And that's not what you need to do inside of your business. You need to make sure that you are consistently building out discipline because discipline is the thing that breeds confidence, right? If you wait on motivation to be the thing that actually triggers you to actually go off, you will be waiting forever to get that done. Who gives a shit about motivation? At the end of the day, the only people that seek out motivation are the ones that watch 57 videos in a row to tell them that they need to do something. But at the end of the day, I'm going to go back to a fitness quote because like Gary Vee was actually super smart when he said this, you can't read about pushups and get results. Right. If you're watching motivational videos, it usually means that you're not doing shit and you're actually counting the motivational videos as your process of doing things to get yourself to the next level. You can't actually get yourself to the next level until you get yourself to the next level. That That's just the way it is. You actually have to do the pushups, endure the pain, build the process and actually get the discipline going. Fuck the motivation. Fuck the positivity. Fuck the negativity. Just keep it going inside of discipline. And then you'll find that that's going to be the thing that actually gets you to the place that you want to be.